I should tell you, Charlotte Russe has no political leanings. And the place that made these refused to make them for me. Oh, really? Yes. What? Oh. They said that their, their ovens had gone down, all kinds of stuff, but folks went and got them anyway, which is why I'm not telling you who made them. But it's, I, it's not, can't be because I'm a woman, but perhaps they did not like my politics. Yeah. You just heard what Whoopi Goldberg had to say about a local bakery messing up her birthday cupcake order. Now let's see what the bakery has to say about the whole situation. Let's check it out together. But the bakery is firing back. They say that the reason they couldn't deliver Whoopi's order was due to problems with the building's boiler and not her politics. They even held a news conference with some other New York lawmakers, including uh, Vito Pacella, to clear their good name. Frankly, the people who, who defamed Holtman, the Holtman family should apologize to the Holtman family for making stuff up to suit their needs. Not everybody wakes up every day and thinks about politics. A good business person doesn't care about anybody's politics. A good business person doesn't care about anybody's politics. So with that, I'd like to call up Jill Holterman Bowers. Uh, she deserves 110% support. Jill, come on. It's a community that I have to tell you, I'm so overwhelmed by the support between finding out yesterday this even happened, getting phone calls, and then people coming in, people from all over just supporting us in every way. We had phone calls yesterday from Alabama. Guy says, I'm gonna give you $50, send it to a school, send them donuts, send them cupcakes. The support has been so overwhelming, and I know how hard my family has worked to keep this business alive. And I wish my father was here today to see this. He would never believe it. My bakers come in two or three in the morning just to have donuts and rolls for everybody to come in and say, we have the best rolls ever. And you know what? It took my whole family. It takes everybody, the community that comes every day to see us. We have this everyday conversation with everybody. How's the family? How's this? This is what makes Holtemans Holtemans. It's the community, it's my fellow everything that come out and us giving back to the community that makes this go round. And if it wasn't for you and Staten Island to make this work, we still wouldn't be here today. So I know my brother, Billy, work hard. Joe, my baker in the back, is here six days a week. He gives his heart and soul to this place. And you know what? My father always said you do what you love. I'm telling you, this is my heart, and I thank you so much for everybody come out and support us with the Holtman family. It means no the world to me. It really does. Thank you so much. I really feel bad for what just happened to this bakery. It's a tough situation and could seriously hurt their business. I'm rooting for them to come out of this on top. Let me know in the comments what you think about the whole situation. Right now, let's check out what the media had to say about it, and then we'll hear Judge Janine's take on it, too. Political is what that they're saying. This is just pure evil by Whoopi Goldberg trying to destroy a family business that's been in business for as long as they just said, just because it couldn't be that she might actually not get a cupcake on her birthday. And because she's such a lunatic, she thinks anything that doesn't go her way is a con some conspiracy theory against her and that everybody hates her. This is the intolerance of the left. Like, I have no idea how these people voted, but I'm going to guess that some of the people that just spoke are probably Democrats. And thank goodness that they came out. And thank goodness that they said, uh-uh, you don't do this to our bakery. You don't do this to a family business. I hope there's a lawsuit here. I hope Whoopi Goldberg has so, to pay a huge, huge birthday check to this bakery. They deserve it. I think it. ABC's on the hook here. I hope they I pay really too, then. Because what we were just talking about, they don't mention Holterman's Bakery. But when you look up, by the way, everybody's Googling this so much now that you yeah. just put in three letters and it's, it's the first thing that yeah. comes yeah. up. But when you go, you see the exact, they're iconic, those cupcakes. First off. This isn't really about cupcakes. It's about perception and influence. When a high-profile celebrity like Whoopi calls out a small family business, it creates a ripple effect. People either rally behind her, or in this case, they're coming out in full support of the bakery, seeing it as a David versus Goliath situation. What's interesting here is the media's angle. They're framing Whoopi's actions as entitled and overblown, saying she's treating a missing cupcake order like some grand conspiracy. 
That taps into a bigger narrative of how celebrities can sometimes come off as out of touch with everyday people. And by linking this to broader themes like intolerance of the left, they're turning what could have been a simple misunderstanding into a cultural moment that divides opinions. From the bakery's perspective, this could have been a nightmare, but it's quickly turning into unexpected publicity. Everyone's Googling them, talking about their cupcakes, and if they play their cards right, this could actually boost their business. It's ironic that something meant to criticize them might end up being the best PR they've ever had. Well, first of all, I have strong thoughts about Whoopi because I think it was about six years ago she threw me off the set of uh, The View. There I am because I was supporting Donald Trump. OK, but I should thank her because I was there to talk about my book, which made number one on The New York Times nice. bestseller. It was a script. You could see the body language. I there too. You, you haven't okay. changed one bit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, but let me tell you a little bit about it. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. I that. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> it was crazy. But look, there's no requirement that you identify the name of the bakery explicitly. If you Google Charlotte Ruse, there is only one bakery in New York that carries this particular cupcake. Um, and they wanted to pre-order it. She called. She said, it wasn't my gender. It was my politics. How the hell do you know that? They can prove that the oven wasn't working. 